Hello, Tom here. Welcome back to another video. Good to have you here. Today, we're going to look at deploying Red Hat Fuse on OpenShift Container Platform. We're going to see how to install Fuse onto an OpenShift cluster, how to create your own Fuse app, and how to deploy it. If you're interested in running Apache Camel on OpenShift, then you'll be interested in this. So, here we go. <laughs> So the starting point for our journey is the product documentation for Red Hat Fuse, which you can get from access.redhat.com. Fuse itself comes in a couple of different flavors. We want Fuse on OpenShift, so you follow the link to the Fuse on OpenShift guide. And since we're following these instructions as a developer who doesn't have access to, who doesn't have cluster admin access, uh, check the link to installing Fuse on OpenShift as a non-admin user. Uh, before we start, you'll need to add your Red Hat credentials to the cluster. This is so that you can pull images from the Red Hat registry, which are protected by username and password. So see the instructions here in the docs, or um, I've written a blog about it if you check the link in the description below on how to do that. So I've already set up my registry authentication in a project on the cluster, so I'm just going to follow these instructions on how to install Fuse on OpenShift. So I have my cluster here. I'm just going to follow the instructions as described. I've created a new project called Tom's Project on my OpenShift 4.5 cluster. Follow the instructions as described. It will get you to run a series of OC create commands. This is going to pull in some definitions of image streams and templates into your cluster. And these are loc located in GitHub. So you'll need access to GitHub from whatever machine you're running this from. So first we install some image streams. So these are pointers to Docker images that are used for building Red Hat Fuse apps. And then you install some templates. So these are quick starts for Fuse apps. They're not mandatory. Here I am updating the project because in, in the docs it suggests using a project called test, but my project is called Tom's project. So I'm just updating the instructions to install into that project. And then the next thing is to install the Spring Boot 2 templates. So this allows us to run Fuse on Spring Boot 2. And finally, we installed templates for the Fuse console, which is a web app for monitoring your Fuse apps within your project. So once that's completed, to check that everything's been installed correctly, we can go back to the OpenShift web console. Uh, I can go to Browse from Catalog. And this will show me all of the templates that are installed in the cluster, which are things that I can create new applications from. And I can search for Fuse 7.6 here, or I can choose to search for Camel with Spring Boot 2, because I know there is a template that exists called that. When I find the template, I can click on it and click on Instantiate Template. But when this instantiates the template, it's going to create a new Fuse app from a sample Camel on Spring Boot app, which is located in GitHub. And we don't want to do that because the most interesting thing is if we create our own app from scratch. So let's do that next. Probably the easiest way of creating a brand new Red Hat Fuse application is using the Launcher, which is a web app for generating template apps. So if you go to launch.openshift.io, click on deploy an example application, then I'm going to give the app a name here, which is Fuse Demo App. So you name it at the top, click on select an example, then click on Fuse to show all of the Fuse templates available. And then this one at the bottom, REST API, allows us to create a new Fuse application with a REST API in it. This drop down allows us to select which version of Fuse we want to target. So I want to target Fuse 7.6. SB2 means Spring Boot 2, so we're using the latest major release of Spring Boot. Once you're happy with everything, just click download and this will uh, generate a zip file that you can download to your desktop containing all the source code for the application and everything you need to get started. Now I've already extracted the zip to my hard disk and that means I can now load it into my favorite IDE, which is IntelliJ IDEA. I love it, it's awesome. I'm just gonna open this in my, in my IDE now and we'll take a look at the source code and see what's been generated. 
uh, the first up in the palm. So the palm is a pretty important place to look. Uh, and you'll notice here on this line, we are defining the version of fuse that we're gonna target. This is the version we'll use for our fuse bomb or bill of materials. This will allow us to pull in the correct versions of camel components for fuse 7.6, which is the version I'm targeting. The other interesting thing to look at in this POM file, as well as all my CAMEL dependencies, is, uh, and the um, artifact repositories, the Red Hat repositories we'll need, is also this Fabric Maven plugin section at the bottom, which is what we'll use to build and test the app inside OpenShift. The next important file is this camel router class. So this is where all the camel routes are gonna go. So it's already been filled with a sample route here, which is our REST API. This is an API which returns a greeting. If you give your name, it will return a greeting back to you. So this is a sort of boilerplate app we can use. It's gonna implement a greeting based on this greeting service bean. So this is the thing that's gonna define the message return to the user. And I need to go and edit it and make a change. So I'm gonna go into the bean, into the class, into the greeting service class and make a change here because I've been told that hello is not the right way to address our user. So I'm gonna go, oh, hey there followed by someone's name. And I've also been told I need to add a suffix to the end of that greeting, so I'm gonna add that here. And with that done, my code is changed. It's now ready to be deployed into OpenShift. To understand how to deploy the sample app to OpenShift, you can check out the readme, which is included in the root of the project. It runs through a bunch of information about how the project is built and, and how to set it up. But it also includes the command that you will use from Maven to deploy it directly from uh, your desktop. It uses the Fabric Maven plugin. This is the plugin that gives Maven powers to be able to build containers and deploy them into OpenShift. When you use the Fabric Maven plugin, you'll need to give it a base image that it should build your container image from. So this is whatever base image it's gonna layer in your code on top of. And when you're building Red Hat Fuse apps, you need to use the Fuse base image. And this is the same image that we installed at the start of this video. To make sure we're using the right image, we can use OC get is tag, and this is gonna show us all the image streams that are installed in the project. And because I'm targeting Fuse 7, uh, Fuse 7.6, I want to use this Fuse 7 Java OpenShift image with tag 1.6. So I can copy this and then paste that into the command and we can start deploying our app. So it's maven clean minus d skip test because I like to live dangerously. Fabricate colon deploy, which will execute the deploy action or deploy goal on the Fabric Maven plugin. Activate the OpenShift profile in the Maven palm and then give this uh, our fuse base image stream as the fabricate generator from property and it will now build the fuse application inside OpenShift and make it available for us. Now while that build is running in the background, let's go back to the OpenShift web console and we can see what it's done or what's been in progress. So in the topology view, um, Nothing's still there because it's still running a build. But if we go to builds on the left and then click on our Fuse demo app build config, this is the thing that describes my Docker build or my container build, the thing that's going to build the image. We can see that there is one instance of my build. Uh, it gives me all sorts of information about what happened during the build. And as we can see, the build is complete, which means the app is now ready to go and we can now test it out. If we go to the topology view, this will show us everything that's been created in my Tom's project. And here we are, here's my deployment config. This is my app, basically. The light blue circle is my deployment config, means it's uh, the app is just starting to come up, it's just being prepared to run. It's turned dark blue, which means the app is now ready. I can click on this little open URL button and it will open up the application. Take me to the front end. This is the test front end of the app. Click on the button to test the web service, to test the REST API. And here it is, the REST API returning my greeting using my modified text that I changed earlier on. Oh, hey there, nice to see you. Excellent, it's now deployed. 
If we want to, we can go back to the topology view and just verify everything that's been created. So we created one deployment config, Fuse Demo App, which is the thing that's gonna spin up a pod which is going to run my application, my container. We built the container using a build config, which is there. Uh, we're also exposing a service, which exposes the REST API that's on port 8080. And then we use a root to expose that outside the cluster over HTTP. So we're finished. We've installed Fuse on OpenShift. We've generated a brand new app using the launcher. And we've also deployed it into OpenShift using the Fabric Maven plugin. Hope this video has been useful for you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or let me know how you're getting on. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.